<laughs> yes! Yes! Episode 13. This one is not bad luck because we're doing something that I am very, very experienced with. Aren't we, Cookie? Arr! Yes, because here we are airbrush painting the eye mesh. So the colours in the eyes, all the effects and everything we are achieving through, mostly through airbrushing. There's a little bit of hand painting to get some of the more solid details, but airbrush painting, this eye mesh is what I am all about. I've done it for plenty of other projects, so I feel I'm really qualified in this video and it's so good. But also the green screen is probably chroma keying out her eyes because she has um, green eyes. Uh, uh, does that help? <laughs> Anyway, episode episode 13 is pretty bad luck apparently, so we're gonna fight through it! Angry eyelids! Ah! be right yo 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 you need a be right back screen or a will return shortly that is fair i should do that i used to have a little I used to have a little scrolling thing i had quits a clotters wow ah yo, yo yo i'm leaving the fandom what why Oh no, my tripod broke! Oh crap. Right, okay, right. Uh let's uh let's have a nice overview of the um There we go. Right, okay. But wallaby! Are you leaving us? Okay, because I am trash, we're having caffeine a drink. Wait, Wallaby, are you leaving us as well? Or... Oh! Oh! Are you are you leaving because of this? Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put this up in the background. Um, yes. Oh! 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 Right, it's uh Okay, I'm gonna put it under I'm gonna put it above my human skin jacket that I wanna make at some point. So it's gonna go here. Don't awoo, three hundred and fifty dollar penalty. Have a good April first trash. <laughs> Oh, mango flavored caffeine G. Is there anything quite as good as El Mango? El Mango! Have a good first. Oh god, that one! Wait, did you literally just go through all of that as an April Fool's joke for us? Because you genuinely had me worried. I was thinking like, oh god, what could act what could actually have happened? What like I hope everything's okay. I hope there hasn't been drama. I hope like oh, Cause cause guys, I care about you all. 
And also, I've just realised I haven't got the music. I haven't got my music headphone in. Right. So. Uh, cookie Crumb is going back there. And we are going to... Um, we're going to do our Izes. Mm. Um, num, 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 num. Right. We're going to do our Izes, which means we want... Some lighter fluid, um, tissue. I'm really enjoying this like daily routine of, of get up, bimble about on the internet for a bit, sort out my like admin stuff, come in here for a couple of hours, prep for the stream, um, prep for the stream, stream for like four or five hours. Also, I'm mu muted in voice channel. Oh yeah, everyone is muted by default. Um, um, okay, so at some point, um, at some point we will, um, okay, I will, so, um, I, I will create a separate voice channel for, um, I'm, I will create, I will create a separate voice channel just for people to chat to one another, and like when you're playing games together you can jump in and talk, and then we'll have we'll have the stream voice chat, which will be um, which will be when I am um, when I have um, when when I want to like chat to people, because I've um, I have in the past just like had people on, and then we just we just chatted and and like were together for we were just chatting and instead of having music in the background, it was basically we had a conversation. In fact, we used to. With um, with Dragon, I think. Dragon used to be there. But also, I, I remember we had um, we had someone who really liked who really liked doing that because um, it meant they heard everything on channel um, slightly before slightly before it showed up on um, showed up on stream. Be good for YouTube content. Hell yeah. Bish bash, I'm furry trash. Although at some point we need to do the um, we need to do the furry omegle. Who was it who was telling me about furry omegle? Today's guest host, Roof the Dilo. Yeah, this trash. Also, we're not trash. We are baked goods. Because everyone here... Oh my god, oh my god! Yes, yes, yes! I completely forgot about this! I completely forgot about this! Everyone here, you all need to... If you're here, if you're here in this chat, you need to have your own pastry persona. For example, I am the Armoured Brownie. Um, Freya. What was Freya? I'm the Armoured... Everyone needs a pastry persona. I, I can't I can't remember what Freya was. Which side is the correct side to have you going forwards? I'm a Danish. What sort of Danish though? I think Freya was some sort of tart. I've completely forgotten something about something with custard tarts. Oh, because I remember like my old um, my old Patreon back when I had a Patreon. Don't worry, it didn't go anywhere. Um, my now husband was the one that uh, was the one that submitted the most to my Patreon, um, and we were we were um, had already been dating for a couple of years at the time, so he just did it out of obligation. But yeah, so my old Patreon, I had um, all the tiers were um, all the tiers were brownie themed. So we had brownie bite. I, I, I was really, I was really proud of it. We had like brownie bite, brownie megabyte, brownie, brownie gigabyte. I thought it was really cute. But yeah, everyone needs a pastry persona. That's one way of sharing money. Yeah, it actually really helped out. In fact, what because um, this was this was because uh, it was up when I was. Um, Medvik Vic cake. But what you no, you need an adjective. It, it's adjective noun. Cause I'm an I'm armored brownie. 
It's adjective noun. It needs to be adjective noun. So you can be you can be the 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 mute Medvedic Med Medvedic or the um or the the sassy Semolina. Look, pastry personas are my closed species. I get creator rights over them. <laughs> Burnt pancake, that's fantastic. I can't believe this is paying off. We had this idea years ago. And, and if, if you if you don't believe that we had this idea years ago, um, I had there is an old trash semolina, <laughs> trash Selma. Nice. And um, if you don't believe me, go back go back and have a look at my YouTube channel. There is an old YouTube video named. Um, there's an old YouTube video that is named um, Pastry Persona. Back where I like called upon people to make their own pastry personas. So this is before I started to cater to the... Um... Oh god, guys! <laughs> Dairy free puff. <laughs> so... Who's, who has actually watched my um, latest YouTube video? Dairy Free Puff. Nice. So who actually watched my latest? Uh, ten, ten clicks done now. Now I go home. No. Wow. Oh, I forgot you were walking. Me. Uh, so yeah. Um, cause, so if you watched my latest video. So my latest video I put up as a... <laughs> You being a blogger. Yeah, yeah, but the whole the whole idea was it was a it was meant to be a joke. I'm terribly allergic to dairy. <sighs> it was meant to be like an April Fool's joke, like, yeah, yeah, now I I'm I'm throwing away all of my cosplay content and becoming a um and becoming a uh, fursuit vlogger because I I've I've been watching a few fursuit vloggers lately and and they are adorable. Um so it was meant to be a joke. But like just how positive the response I've had to it because people I don't think people realize I'm like wait do I just actually do this it's certainly easier content to put out okay so we have sanded we've sanded these these uh, mesh these mesh discs down a little too much in some respects, so we've got um <laughs> Yeah, this is going terribly wrong. <laughs> okay. Oh! Lightheaded, lightheaded. Whoa, very lightheaded. Okay, calm down, calm down. Okay, so what we're going to do now. one of my um i had one of the best comments i've ha I had one of the best comments i've seen in ages it, it just made really um you would benefit from actual dog grooming equipment i bet i would <laughs> like what sort of stuff should i be looking for um just entered a giveaway for a fursuit badge yesterday the trash is stronger than this one yes <laughs> my god people and you've got a handful of support too. This is, this is the beginning of a journey. Remember to keep your head, your head up, even when it seems everyone is here to see, to see. Do it for you and your skill and first moment. Oh, Zapow left an amazing comment. Holy crap! Anyway, yeah, I, I got, I got the, I got my favorite, my favorite um, from from Mutex Morgan. 
who um, was here on stream yesterday, but you might see you might see them in chat in um, in Discord. Um, literally, oh, I haven't. There is a thing I haven't muted. Oh, I have muted it. Uh, notification settings. Everything goes away. Everything goes away. There we go. Right. Um. Yeah. It was. It was just um. Perfect. Keep going, you cute fluff. And I don't know why. I don't know why. But just just that phrasing. Just like keep going, you cute fluff. I thought that was so painfully like adorable as just a as just a compliment. So we're gonna hit this with a little bit of primer. We're just gonna do it on both sides. Very light, very light spraying of it. With trashy stuff. Yes. Good luck, random wallaby. Mm. Oh yeah. So I ordered. I ordered um, sample fur for. I ordered sample fur for that otter. Well, there are a number of brushes that would ensure people receive less free-floating fluff. Hmm. I thought that's what a, what a um, slicker brush was for. I thought you just went over it with a slicker brush. Remember then... Trash is strong in this one. Uh, remember then you uploaded it. So yeah, that's... Um, so I, yeah, I've, I've ordered some sample fur for this, um, for this um, otter. Because I, I'm actually genuinely thinking of, I'm actually genuinely thinking of making that otter as a as a as a personal suit. Uh, the Patreon persona video. Oh, remember when you uploaded it? Um, I don't remember. It it will it will have been over a year ago. Do it. Um. Well. As much as much as I want to do it and all of that, it's still it's still it's still gonna cost money, and I need to make money. I need to make money to make things. Um, let's have a look. Armored brownies. Uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Um, YouTube. YouTube.com forward slash armored brownies. Found it. Okay. Cool. I, oh, I think fr I, um, if you, if you want to link it in chat, uh, random wallaby, please go ahead. I'm pretty sure it's got Freya in it as well. So, um, so like, you can you can um, check on. It. Also, it might have my old hair color. Holy shit, it does. And it opens with Freya. And that's us at uni. <gasps> We're in second year. Oh my god, I made Crombopulous Michael then. That was in 2018. Oh, I loved doing these vlogs. These vlogs were so much fun, but just like... Never never got any... Um, we were babies. Aww. But the, my, just the vlogs never got any traction, which was just such a shame. Although... I, I'm also I'm worried about it because I want to um, I'm thinking about uploading um, I'm thinking about uploading the full um, I am thinking about uploading the full uh, vods of making this head but I'm I'm a little bit worried about like blowing out the um, blowing out the up blowing out the like videos on the channel if that makes sense because because each one of these videos is going to be like five hours long because I don't really have the time to edit them down and I don't have the money to hire an editor <laughs> right so how are we painting this I haven't even thought about this this bit of the process yet Hmm. That was before we graduated. A long way before we graduated. 
Hey, Cookie Crumb. I love you, Cookie Crumb. Mage Apple Strudel. Random Wallaby? That's awesome. Wait, didn't you already have one? Ah. Yeah, you're a bum pancake. You're going to be a Mage Apple Strudel now. I mean, you can be multiple things. I'm not gonna, I'm not going to stop you. Okay, so um, I think we want to we want to do a mixture of airbrushing, and um, we want to do a mixture of airbrushing and and traditional uh, painting to get this just right. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Also, um, any relation to crying breakfast friends um, is purely accidental for that for my um, Stephen Universe uh, Stephen Universe Stephen Universe friends. Call me DF Puff. Yes, there is a pastry called a Charlotte. Okay, I know someone called Charlotte. They're not a pastry. But they are a snack. Right. Uh, so let's. So the first thing I want to do is I want to spray the back black and the front. Uh, excuse me. And the front. Um, I want to spray the back black so you can see out of them easier. And the front white. My son would have been a Charlotte. God damn it, that dried out. Are you my plastic buddy? No, you're all white. Uh, oh yeah, I do have some green. Good, 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 good. Oh, I've got some purples, some pinks, some more purple, some blue. Blue is going to be important. Do you have some yellow? I do have some yellow. Excellent. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. We got this. We got this. I'm getting way hung to a Are you literally looking up pastry ideas? I don't even know what a Charlotte is. You know what, guys? You know what, guys? I'm gonna create. I'm creating a new channel in Discord. Created a new. Um, I've created a new channel in Discord. Please drop by that channel in Discord and share with share with the class what your pastry persona is, so we can keep track of them. Right. So I'm just going to spray the back black, and I'm going to let that dry. And this should make it easier. This should make it easier for you to see out of the head. There we go. List of pa oh wow! Literal list of pastries. <laughs> uh, where's my spray bottle of water? There it is. Cool. I'm always surprised. Uh, Night Lady, Night Lady, Night Lady. Uh, let me know how you would like your name pronounced. But 
um, more importantly than that, thank you so much for joining us. Cousin Deloine is just a pastry sparkle dog. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that is, but I like things being compared to other things. <laughs> Did that sentence just come out of my mouth? I'm posting a pic so you can see. Cool. I'm going to love you and leave you. Want to focus on other things. That's fair. Everyone leaves. <sighs> okay, uh... Dairy free path. Thank you, poke your, poke your eyes out, Gabe. Freya, don't forget to um, don't forget to share your pastry persona. What is that? That looks like a bar of soap. Okay, cool. Right, I'm going to wait for that to dry. However, I think something I'm going to do just to make my life easier in future. I'm going to quickly hit this. I'm going to quickly hit this with a little bit of um, with a little bit of plaster dip. So the idea behind this is because the um, so this paint is going to have a hell of a time adhering to this plastic. That's why we that's why we sanded it. That's why we primed it. But but of course it's still going to like eventually. Eventually, there's a chance it will flake off because this paint, this acrylic, this acrylic ink we're putting on, it isn't, um, it isn't flexible. So what we're at, so what we're doing is we're mi is we're going to um, we're going to bind it with something that is flexible, which is this um, plaster dip. This plaster dip is a flexible, clear, and dries and dries matte spray. So if we put this over it. In theory, this will create a layer between. This will create. A, this will create basically a sandwich where we have sticky, flexible stuff on top, paint, less than sticky but stuck to plastic underneath. So there'll be less chance that our airbrushing will come off. It's basically. It's it effectively we're varnishing it. Wait, is mochi a pastry? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, pastry might not be the uh, might not be the best term. Uh, maybe maybe the best term would be um, would be. Uh... Oh, 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 I just had it in my brain. Damn it. Confection. No, that's a frozen treat. Mochi isn't frozen. not frozen okay we just we're just gonna wait for this to um set why is that got oh that's got something blocking it um whoops i've messed up mochi's like dense chewable thing oh i think i oh i gotta rethink yeah I mean, yeah, you you can be you can be any sort of confection. I think. Um, I mean, also you can be any armored mochi. Hey, hey! <sighs> Only subscribers get to use armored. Let's see what I did there. I love the idea of um, I love the idea of ass assigning pastry personas to fursonas, because like each one of your fursonas could have a different pastry persona. <laughs> Is that bad? Okay, we've got to wait for this paint to dry. God damn it! <laughs> I love it.
Oh, we've lost so many of our viewers. Oh. I mean, probably doesn't help we're not talking we're we're being we're being dumb nerds. I know. I know, I'm just trying. What? No, you're not! Roof the Dilo! Um, I found it. Schneeball. Snowball. Just because it looks like someone took a dog, squished it between their fingers and baked it. Trash Panda is my, is, is my spare time name. <laughs> I mean, you can, you can dumpster dive for confections in theory. Okay, so we're going to put down... A layer of white first. Let's turn the compressor back on. So we're not we're not trying to paint this white. We just want a um, a brighter base layer, so the eye color shows up better. Trashy croissant. Ooh. Ooh, you're getting into it. I like it, I like it. Oh, is this? No, this thing isn't out, it's just jammed. So what the big, big reason I like um, airbrushing mesh Inspired rock candy. Oh, that's awesome! Um, since I since I come from a tourist uh, a tourist uh, city, um, like sticker rocks are really popular here. Or ev everywhere sells sticker rocks because um, because of course lots of people want um, want nice touristy things to bring home. Is going at full pressure? Is there a kink? Not that I'm trying to kink shame. Oh, I don't want to have to clean out my goddamn airbrush on stream. Just going to quickly run this through because it's not spraying as well as I'd like it to. Ah! look at it. Is that a bunch of lollipops or is it just a bunch of large sugar crystals? What, stick a rock? Are sticks of rock um, peculiar to England? So, in um, in particularly um, in particularly touristy places like, say, Bournemouth, where I live, you you can find um, 
don't let the stream hurt the craft. But I also don't want the craft to hurt the stream. I'm enjoying this. Um, I don't get many viewers. Like here, you can, you can get lollipops, which are made by letting the sugars grow on a stick. That's so cool. Oh, no. So a stick of rock is a... Um, it's basically, it's... What's the best way to describe it? Um, it's where you get a... Uh, it's where you you buy basically a le it's a length of pulled sugar about like 30 centimeters long i could tweet tweet you out i mean if you like i'm not doing anything particularly interesting right now but it would be nice um yeah so you get a length of um you get it's basically a length of a length of sugar um about 30 centimeters long and um and say um and say a couple of centimeters, a uh, couple of centimeters thick, and then it'll be circular. And through the center of it, it will say the name of the town that it was bought bought in. And they're, they're very popular as like little touristy items and gifts. So you get them, and it'll just like say Bournemouth through the center. So that they're popular, they're popular as like gifts for people. You're delightful and excitable. Aww. Thank you. And I've been surprisingly consistent lately. Oh! Come on! Oh, it's full of crap. Okay. I hate this stuff. I need to be a lot more careful with this stuff because when I am, um, if I get it in my mouth somehow, it makes my tongue go numb, and that that probably doesn't spell good things for my um, for my internal organs, which I have. I call them nails, most commonly in rusty nail, which is licorice. Ugh, licorice is awful. No one's allowed to be licorice. Licorice is the villain. In 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 the world of pastry personas, licorice is the villain. Just like, um, just like raisins. Raisins are the mursuit of the, um, of the pastry persona world. They're like, you show up and like, oh, that's a really well-made fursuit and your dick's hanging out. <laughs> um, so it's, it's like, show, it's like, um, a pro, it's like getting to, um, it's like getting to, like, a cookie. And you're being all like, like, oh, that's a fantastic chocolate chip cookie. I'm just gonna have some. And then you eat it, and it's, and it's, um, and it's, no, it's, it's, um, they're raisins, not chocolate chips. showing up uh, I'm from Iran fear my li licorice bitterness ah ah I I got some from Iran with saffron in it some licorice wow and sorry I am I am Despite despite what I said, not wanting to do this, I am actually stripping the airbrush down to try and clean it. Let's try this then. Saffron's expensive, man.
Okay, that's much, much, much better. Good, 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 so if it's games I like, I, um, I definitely need to make a note to um, follow you because you seem like a cool person who, a cool person who I ought to know and hang out with more, and not just because you offered to promote me. Right. So we want nice, bright white eyes. Bearing in mind, we're not we're not giving it white eyes. This is a this is a nice bright base coat that we're going to be putting the the um, proper colours over the top. There we go. Cool. Maybe today. Oh, I do all the things. Cool. I look forward to seeing you play uh, Factorio and then moving over to play um, Barbie's Horse Adventure. <laughs> Dairy free puff is dead to me. Long live inspired rock candy. <laughs> From cross -stitch stitching to blacksmithing. Oh, I remember you saying you did blacksmithing. High pitched voice. Hey guys, it's Cookie Crumble here. This is a wonderful suit made by a one by the one the the wonderful weird armored brownies. Oh, let it. Hey guys, it's Cookie Crumble here. This is a wonderful suit made by the wonderfully weird Armoured Brownies. Or the wonderful wired Armoured Brownies, I think is what you've said. <laughs> okay, so now we're going, we're going to... We're going to greenify this. It's the green, it's the green, it's the green that I see. Let's add a touch of blue to darken that. Uh oh. That was probably a bit too much blue, but whatevs. D and D, cool. Actually might have to drop one of my D&D games because I I do a little bit a little bit too many now that I'm working so much. Who knows where it's at? Everybody's talking about Elon B. Also woke up woke up to a text from the power company. There has been some power problems overnight. Oh no! I hope all of your stored frozen goods. Dro I need new players. No, I'm dropping them because I play too much. Wants you to run around like a crazy person wearing a furry suit. <laughs> Maybe. Also, was a terrible game. Ah, oh, way back when. Like we're talking like eight years ago now. No, it's probably more like six years ago now. Me and my friend Hixie, we used to um, we used to do a um, we used to have a I used to have a I used to have a gaming YouTube channel ages ago. Um, I've taken it down since because it never went anywhere, and I was I, I'm embarrassed by it. So I um, so I um, 
So, but what? But the entire point, um, it was let. We we called it armed and stabulous, and the whole point was because we both played. We we both played a lot of a lot of games. So what we did was we was together. We played games aimed at girls, and it was amazing. Young James, hello, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Probably have to throw out your milk. Aww. I had to buy more. I had to buy milk today. I felt really bad actually going to the shops today because because we like uh, Britain is under orders that you're only supposed to uh, you're only supposed to go shopping for um, you're only supposed to go for shopping uh, you're only supposed to go out and buy essentials. And I went out and bought bought, bought two. Um, I bought milk, two cans of energy drink, and some vegetarian marshmallows. You're sitting in a pub. It's a busy night. Lots, lots of a bunch of dwarfs sitting around a table, drunk singing. Um. Anyway, uh, Poker Eyes Out game. Um, tell me more about your D and D game. I hate milk. <laughs> I mean, I, I, uh, Poker Eyes Out game. I hear, I hear milk doesn't have a good thing to say about you either. So, um, you know, let's let's not poke fingers around. Games aimed at girls, like what? Um, there was we did Barbie's horse adventure. We did um, oh, there was um, oh, there was. I could go back and look, but I can't rem I can't remember too many of them. I can't remember too many of them off the top of my head because it was quite a while ago. And we had a bunch of games lined up. Trying to start a campaign in chat. In chat? Oh, okay. <laughs> right, I want a nice deep, deep blue, at, deep, deep, deep green at the centre of this. So I'm going to add a drop of purple to this. And that should really dark, really deepen this green. Because um, I've said it before to you guys, if you are um, if you are dark darkening or lightening colours, you shouldn't do it with black or white. You should try and use um, you should try and use colours that are um, you should try and use colours that are a darker or lighter version of the um, particular colour. There we go. I like that. This iris, this um, colour needs to be a bit bigger. Cool. Gonna let that. Gonna have to let that dry. Well, when I start back up, I'm doing a game of five E on roll twenty. <laughs> I currently have three D and D, three five E D and D games on roll twenty going, and a and one dark heresy game on roll twenty. I did have a fourth, um, a fourth in-person D&D game, but it got, but the um, GM had to stop doing it just before the pandemic hit. So, so they would, they would have to have stopped, they would have to have stopped it now anyway. So yeah, that's, um, I don't know why, I don't, it's really annoying that the paint isn't adhering particularly well to this one. So I'm going to let it, I'm going to let it dry now and we will try again in a second. Um, yes. Don't forget, people. Um, we are sharing our pastry personas in um, in the Armored Brownies Discord channel. So, if you have a pastry persona, or if your first owner has a pastry persona, um, Ah. 
please explain this pastry persona? Well, crims, as you might be aware, I am the armoured brownie. I, I am the armoured brownies. Um, but if you thirst, thirst for a for a gand made by a game made by me, let me know. Hmm. So I am the armored brownie, and so so like why not uh, why not let other people, much like people have first owners, why uh, I um I I wrote a couple uh, a couple of years ago we had the idea of um, of applying pastry personas to different people. So so um you. So you just make you make up a pastry persona for yourself, and that's your new character. That that that's like I I'm I'm Hayes. I this is Armored Brownies. Armored Brownies being my <laughs> my fucking pastry persona. I don't know. Look, Crims. I don't know how to explain this. I barely know how to explain what I do for a job. Robot Oreo. Perfect. Go to the Discord channel and share it in the new chat called Pastry Personas. What even is my job? Also, if you ever Google Google D and D D stream fail, that's that's not a normal. Also, if you ever Google D and D stream fails, that's not a normal thing. Oh, are you on it? <laughs> Please say you all, you all, um, you're all on camera in fursuit heads. If you're all on camera in fursuit heads, I'm in. Okay, 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 okay. How are people doing today? What are people up to? How has so we're halfway through the week? We are currently halfway through the week. What have you guys um got got uh got up to? I uh I regret to inform you it is the first option. What's the first option? Um there is a Reddit for funny D&D fails. My favourite thing is the guy who throws his mug at a stranger and rolls a nat 20, killing the guy. What? How about this for a... L God damn it. How about this for a lovely gradient eye? That will go in there. Yeah, cool. When you Google, when you Google end stream fails, the f oh D and D stream fails, the first one that comes up is is your. I mean, I assumed I assumed so. Otherwise, why would you have said it? Where's my spray bottle? Spray bottle! Oh, it's hanging up here. Cool. Yeah, it's the one. It's the one where the guy falls asleep. Oh wow! I could play Sharby, my kobold. Uh, uh, one of my favourite characters I've ever had. 
is a um, is technically in a game that is still going on, but because of some like interpersonal drama, I'm now no longer playing. Well, I, I I'm technically still in the game. It's just it's just like a, a dear friend of mine got kicked from the game, so like I don't know if I should carry on playing. It, it's weird. It's awkward. Um, but I, I've got a um, kobold druid called Sharby. And Sharby is here to help. Sharby does the best she can. Sharby is very good at magic. That is a lie. I'm really sorry. Sharby is not good at magic. Sharby cannot help with much. But Sharby can turn into a bear and murder people for you. Is this death? There is a... Um, in fact, because this is a this is a like sixteen person game, and you book a you book a session, and you go out as four people each game to explain the campaign world, explore the campaign world, and then like there's downtime in between. It, it's basically um, a D and D version of Darkest Dungeon, where you go out as four people each time, and there are four there are four players each time. You arrange you arrange it, and the DM the DM runs them all. The DM's got a whole world and stuff. Um, there is like there's different shops in town which have different like items you can buy for money and there is a standing order that Sharby is no longer allowed to buy signal whistles because Sharby I kept buying signal whistles and I got told right if you're ever in trouble no don't so I was just wa walking through town just blowing a signal whistle constantly and then and then when we were out on adventure blowing the signal whistle constantly and so eventually I got banned from buying signal whistles but to be fair, I got told, only blow the signal whistle when you're in trouble. So there were a bunch of direwolves walking by us, and we go to hide, and like we're hiding, and I just slowly raise the signal whistle to my mouth, looking the paladin dead in the eye. Like, and he's like, no! He's like, Grr! so we fight, we fight them, and he's like, Sharpie, what were you doing? And like, we were in, tr we were in trouble. Sharpie, you told Sharpie, Sharpie only to blow whistle when we in trouble. Direwolves mean trouble. <laughs> it was beautiful. And so, yeah, now now I'm not allowed to buy signal whistles. Um, been to a job interview as a shopper guide at a supermarket. I will have to, I'll have to stop families before they go into the store and try and convince them only one of try and convince only one of them to go in whilst the rest do something else because the store is only allowed to have a certain number of people in it. Is that because of the um, stay at home order? So, aww, I mean, I bet, I bet they will be worse behaved than, than your dogs. Yeah, I'm bored of waiting for um, paint to dry. <laughs> because of because of Easter time, people are spending their vacation. <laughs> because of Easter, people are spending time in their vacation houses. Really? During a pandemic? Well, in my last Haru... last Haru, I had two separate groups playing the good guys and the bad guys. Sessions were held one after another. I've got a friend who's doing that. My, um, my partner plays in a game where the, uh, where the GM's doing that for them. But in the game, everyone's playing their LARP characters. So they can roleplay their LARP characters outside of the LARP season. And it feels a little more prescient now 
Because, like, um, no one can actually play their LARP characters because all LARP is cancelled. <laughs> well, oh, so I have a, my next character that I want to play is a um, is based on Amos from um, The Expanse. So my next character is going to be a monk based on Amos, um, purely for the line. You want me to kill him, boss? And the whole idea is just I'm going to be explosively deadly in um, in hand-to-hand -hand combat and like just just I'm just an ex bouncer. Fucking love him. He he is my fan of them. I don't like Miller. Admittedly, like I watched the first series, I watched the first series before I wa before I read the books, and he's he's worse in the series than he is in the book, in my opinion. But also, but like, um, but like, uh, but like Miller is just just a horrible person in the um, in the series. I'd love to make an evil character. My, I had a, I had a, really, I, I had so much fun playing a chaotic, playing a lawful evil character, in a, in a chaotic, in like a neutral group, for a while. But I was ruthless enough that basically everyone looked up to me. Yes, but I enjoy his role. Mm. I mean, he is... He's way more interesting as the detective, as the um, as the search algorithm, than he is as his character originally. Hey, um, poke in the eye... Poke, poke around. Have you read the books? Because have you read them? Because if you've read the books... Oh my god, is Amos the coolest character? Well, actually, no. Amos isn't the coolest character. That's definitely, um, that's definitely Bobby. Bobby is the coolest character in the entire series. And she is better in the books than she is in the series. Than she is in, in the show. In my humble opinion. I once tr um, not yet. As I, as I got, I got it, I... As I got into it, I had a baby. That's fair. That, that's one of the reasons why I adore... I absolutely adore audiobooks. I consume all my novels via audiobook because... Because, like, I do things with my life. So... So, yeah. Hmm. I watch the show and love Amos. Yeah, Amos is really cool. I, I one of the things I anyway here here's the eyes. One of the things I love about Amos more than anything. And we, okay, we're gonna and we're going to paint. We're gonna physically paint be, uh, because I want a really because rather than these like rather than these like airbrushed effects, I want a really strong black um, pupil in there rather than these kind of merging colours, so it will... Um, because that will make it look a bit better. Um, but yeah, um, one, of, uh, one of the reasons I love Amos um, from the books so much is because you get his internal monologue and you like learn so much more about him as a character. And he's... He's just such a... He's just such a well-written character. And just his motivations are fantastic. And oh! I could gush about Amos all day. 
And I also cannot believe I actually eventually came round to liking peaches. But like, um, but like, uh, the expanse is one of the re is the expanse is the reason I own one of my spaceships in um, Star Citizen. But I already had book one on Audible, so I guess I'm starting that tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I um, the the most recent audio book, the most recent book. Um, oh, what's it called? I can't remember what, what the most recent book's called. Because it's been a little while since I since I've read it, but it is spectacular. Mm. What's it called? Oh, oh shit! We had another five hundred chrono uh, uh, COVID nineteen deaths shit, in the UK. You play Elite Dangerous? Um, I played it a while ago. I played it when it first came out for a while. Because I backed it, Tiamat's, uh, Tiamat's Wrath. Yeah, so I, I played it back when it first came out, but um, I didn't. I didn't play it for long because there just wasn't much content to it. Um, but yeah, I, I actually I backed the original Kickstarter for um, Elite Dangerous. Right, so we are going to try and get this as even as we can. This probably isn't actually the right brush to do this with, thinking about it. Uh, let's use this one. Loads of content now. Yeah, but they kind of squandered my attention, if that makes sense. Because, like, like if I'm gonna put if I'm gonna put time into a um, into a start into a. Um, into a space sim. I'm gonna put it into um, Star Citizen because that has like there's more content in in the Star Citizen uh, Alpha right now than there than there than there was when Elite Dangerous launched. And also, yeah, I, I have um, there is a ship that I own in Star Citizen, which is which I own entirely because it re it reminds me an awful lot of the Rosinante. Which is probably not the best reason to get a um, surprisingly expensive spaceship. But I'm also backing a game I, I believe in. And enjoy piddling about in from time to time. Right, let's make sure they're the same size. They are not. Me sick, give me motion sickness. Um, it depends. When did you last play it? Because uh, there's a hell of a lot of new um, graphical options and such. You can finally turn off the motion blur. Got response for my job interview. They they picked four and it wasn't me. Ah. Oh. There we go. We have our we have our eyes. I mean, I've got a couple of in Star Citizen. I have a couple of multi multi crew ships, so we could definitely um, we could definitely uh, play about with that as a group at some point. Okay, I think that do I want to do any airbrushing on this head? I probably want to keep this looking quite toony with the colours, right? I probably don't want to airbrush this. Am I am I right? I'm asking more established furs because back when I used to be in the fur, back when I used to be part of the fur fandom, fur suits were rare and simple. 
um, there, there wasn't a kind of just uh, kind of particularly established um, design language for fursuits as there is now. If, if that even makes sense. How much will cookie cost? I don't know. I, I, I honestly, honestly, I do not know. Like, I want to get a couple hundred quid for it, but, but like, I, I'm. <sighs> But I'm going to, um, I'm just going to touch up these little, um, these little white spots. So this is, um, this is one of those things that, um, this is one of those things that, um, that Mr. Sheen, if, if you, if you've been hanging around a little bit, you'll know Mr. Sheen from chat. He's, he's been following my work for a little while. And the moment I put up that I was making, um, the moment I put up that I was making fursuits, he immediately contacted me and commissioned me. Like, like immediately, the second the second I put up something about fursuits, he contacted me and and commissioned me because he said, as as I was like, are you sure about it? Okay, I'm gonna it's gonna be fairly cheap because I'm gonna do fairly cheap because because I'm aware I'm aware I'm an unknown creator who you don't know and you don't know well who, who you bet who you don't know how good my suits will or won't be. So I don't want to overpromise. So we're gonna it's gonna be gonna be cheaper than you might you might expect uh, because you're gonna be one of my first clients for this and he was like oh i've been following you since like i've been following you since i saw your kindred stuff I, i've seen your work i love your work and i and i love your attention to detail and i want you to bring that to my suit i'm like oh i mean i could see um i could see cookie going for like three hundred dollars that's with like that's with a tail and uh, that's with a tail and some paws. It just like I I want like five hundred dollars for um for um pop tart, the pangolin. Oh, actually, I shouldn't put that down yet. I like how I added the teeth. Thank you. I I really like the teeth myself. Um, right, we're gonna we're gonna call these down. Well, no, we're gonna dry these off. Going to be the first person to own what own an armored and who's going to be the first person to own an armored brownies um for, uh, armored brownies fursuit cool. so i really want to make i really want to get to a position where where even if i'm taking commissions even if i'm doing commission work I really want to get to a a position where I'm able to do a um, a pre-made custom a month. I know, I know I I know I'm getting so far ahead of myself. Like, ooh, when I have too many com too many commissions to do in a month, <laughs> uh, like I would really I want to I want to be able to do. I want to be able to carry on doing um, customs, carry on doing not custom, carry on doing pre-mades, because like. I'm, I'm thinking about like how to expand because I the last few the last couple of weeks making uh doing pop tart doing um doing cookie have been so much fun meeting you guys uh, like all all of this all of this has been so much fun so far and I really hope we can carry on doing this so I'm thinking about like how do I expand this how how do I make this a livable income and I'm thinking like like if I if I can get to the point where I'm doing like a custom a month, um, that means I can that means I can have a video of how that custom comes together. I can have um, I can have a Patreon where I show you behind the scenes things and get and and let you have. Um, although although when I say a Patreon where where you see behind the scene things, um, that's a bit disingenuous since um, since all of my content is about the process of making. So maybe that's maybe that's a little dis maybe. Maybe that's a bit disingenuous because what more can I show you? Maybe it's early access, but definitely like the whole feedback thing is um, is what is like the whole feedback thing is what I would love to do. So like I can go like uh, what 
cre what what type of creature should we make this week? I have these ideas. Which one would you like to see me make this month? That's what that's what I would love to do. There's always behind the scenes. Yeah, there is. There's always behind there's always behind the behind the scenes. I mean, but then again, but then again, also like as much as I would like, go, oh, we, we can have like, we can have like um, custom subscriber only, um, subscriber only chats. I'm always here on, on Discord for you to chat to. Um, we, you, we can have you see, do, we can see you doing some of the, um, some of the extra work and like the extra work is boring as shit and I save you from it. So I think feedback is the best, and if you pay me uh, five hundred, uh, if you pay me five hundred pounds a month, you you will get uh, a fursuit head a month. Yep, yeah, that's my that's my promise. That's the top tier. There's an awful lot behind here. There's an awful lot of behind here. Yes, I'm fat. Thank you for pointing it out. Poke your eyes out. We have an awful lot of behind here. <laughs> behind the behind the scenes yeah i just need to get my partner to um to follow to follow me around with a camera as i follow um as as i as i record things oh i need a better camera than just using my phone my phone is um because i do all of my i do all of my recording using my um using my mobile phone and ugh, it does it, it's it's really painful Be the Adam Savage of furries. Similar to behind the behind the music. That sounds like um that sounds like that uh Andy Sandberg film. Let's just put this all behind us. <laughs> that's great, but No, that's the end of the sentence. Great but. I do have a great butt. I'm, I'm sorry, but <laughs> let's call the whole thing off. You say potato, I say tomato. You say something else, I say another thing. Tomato, tomato, to potato, potato. Let's call the whole thing off. <gasps> oh! 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 Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> there is some gunk on the back of this, um, some gunk on the back of the eye that I need to cut off, but this is a very, um, last time I tried to look at my butt, I got... <laughs> I got whip. I got whiplash. <laughs> so, um, you might notice. So, um, in the in the channel uh, banner for YouTube and um, and I and the um, online and offline screens for um, the online uh, the online and offline screens for this uh, YouTube channel. In fact, if we, if I'm just gonna go there. So this this um, this costume, this dragon costume. Um, you can see, uh, you can see, like, this is a LARP event behind me. I got asked to make a dragon costume to fight in. I'm up on a pair of stilts in that costume to, to fight in an arena. It was a lot of fun because I am, I am weapon safe in, um, in stilts because I'm, I'm very good on stilts. So I, I was fighting in the arena, but I had a blue body I had a blue zentai suit on underneath it with with a bunch of accessories on over the top and um and I I was the big bad for the players to fight and there I have this overriding memory of um of like so all the players come out and this is big big battle and the players have to win this or, or really bad things happen in the world and so I come out on these stilts, and it's I haven't shared I haven't shared this costume with anyone. No one's expecting a giant stilt dragon, 
And so everyone starts cheering for, because I'm the, the, the dragon is Tiamat, and everyone starts cheering for Tiamat um, to the degree that to the degree that some of the people who were involved were, were like getting really shitty with each other, really shitty with everyone, because they're like, if they win, they destroy all of our all of our city, and uh, they destroy all of our cities. Um, they're like, but one of the things I remember is is some people in the crowd yelling, "Cool, Tiamat's got a nice ass." Because, well, that's my, that's like, that, that and, that and like one fifth, one fifth of my good hair days are, are my good, are my good physical features. So, so I, I so that's something, um, that's something I hold on to. You say potato, I say potato, 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 potato. We both say potato. Okay. I don't know why, but just putting just putting the eye in bring, brings this to life so, so much in a way I couldn't have predicted. Okay, let's... um. Let's glue these in then. I'm I'm really scared of this. I'm genuinely scared of this. Um, I I don't want to. I I so badly do not want to screw this up. It is definitely possible for me to screw this up. So, people who know a bit more about about the fur fandom and that sort of thing how much would something like how much should something like this go for do you guys think or is that like eve or is that just a really dumb question because they they kind of go for what they go for right let's put this in uh, behind the music I hate to big my uh I, I hate to like bit uh, well Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Does a roll of duct tape cost in Britain? Um, between two and five quid. Depend, depends. You can get like you can get like rolls of duct tape which are like eight quid or something because they because um, they're like branded. And my local store has them for like three or three or four pounds each. 
the generic ones. Or lady hours or toaster hours. Just work hours. This has been... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25... This has been about 30 hours of work so far. So actually, yeah, 30 hours of work at £15 an hour doesn't put it massively. Or even if you do 30 hours of work work at th at, um, 30, at £10 an hour, that puts it at like 300 quid plus materials. That's just for the head, though. So guys, guys. Da 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 da! That's the eyes in. How much did the materials cost? Uh, yeah, thirty. 40, about 40 quid. <sighs> that cute fluff. I know, Roof. Damn, my country is stupid. Non-branded. 10 pounds? Jeez. Honestly, yeah, getting about 350 pounds for this would be... Uh, 350 pounds for this would be good. Going at 10 pound an hour. Actually, that's not counting... Yeah, that's actually not counting some of the time for doing the... Um... Oh, it's going to be more like 450 quid after we've done the eyes. Ah! Oh, you know what I should do? You know what I should do? I'm going to... I'm going to go to the overlay. And we're going to go... Add. Oh, no, come on. Add. Text. Add source. Text is going to say. Uh, be right back. Discuss. Still streaming. Just. Just be right back. Add source. Ah, yeah. Uh, do I have... Ah, oh, do they have... Oh, I don't, I don't care what font. Oh, text. Uh, be right back. Uh... Uh, can I get this to scroll? Will this scroll? Is there a, is there a scroll option here? Text transform. Nope. Uh, nope. Whatever. Uh, background color. No. Um. In filters. Oh, cool. Uh, okay, so. I do this and we go Elder Scroll. We go uh, center to screen, cool. Just make you a bit bigger. And then we go, let me do that center to screen again. Uh, transform it center to screen. We go filters. Filters. No filters applied. Add. Face mask, no! Uh, scroll, cool. And then scroll, yep, yeah, done. 
Turn it back some streaming. Uh, no, come on. Scroll. Scroll. Okay, uh, horizontal speed. Let's do you 100, let's do you 75, there we go, and done, and then we go, and then we make it the correct size for the screen, for the, for the stream, not the screen. Right, cool, and then we go uh, center, transform, center screen. Disable when not in use. Uh, where is it? Not read from file. There we go. Right. Uh, where is disable when not in use? not see it. It's usually just down there but I don't, don't know if it has it. Mm. Right people 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 I'm going to put this here to keep, so you guys can all keep each other company. I'm going to get the music going again and I'll be back in a few minutes where we will carry on finishing this floof. Back in a minute. Um, in the meantime, in the meantime, I need you all to, um, I need you all to d d discuss among yourselves, um, colours which don't deserve to be as popular as they are. <laughs> 